What you're going to see here in this Rainbow Six Extraction video is a coordinated team of three people playing this game on a high difficulty level. In addition to that, I'm going to be explaining a bunch of the different things that are happening on the screen so you can understand why things are happening and why we're doing what we're doing. And I want to keep this intro short, so without further introduction, here is a little bit of Rainbow Six Extraction gameplay. Blinding Spore Carriers, what this does is it's going to cause all of the enemies to have these little blinding spore things on them. Usually you would just see them in the map and you got to bop them off you or something like that. But... The actual enemies themselves are going to have them on them. So something you can do, I don't have IQ right now, but if I had IQ, I could play IQ. And IQ's little TV that she has, or whatever you want to call it, can see blinding spores. So you actually kind of get wall hacks with IQ. One thing that's really cool about IQ and Pulse is that everybody can see the effects of their gadgets. Not just IQ and not just Pulse. So I'm actually going to play Rook. Because one of the things that Rook gets at level 2 is they make it so the hostage can have armor. Have you had the hostage go down while it's had armor? Does it go down or is it just dead? I haven't, I haven't had that yet. You haven't had it go down? Usually so I'm wondering if they could go then. down. Yeah. But if they don't have armor, they go down really quickly. <laughs> and they just straight up die and then the mission fails. Are you going to recon off the bat? I can. Okay. I mean, we should probably recon two different ways because we have this way and we have that way. I'll go right, you go left. How about that? We'll recon each way. <laughs> So part of what we're doing right now is we're just trying to scan for stuff. And we have these XR drones, which go ahead and mark stuff automatically for us. You can see these little yellow things. It's the auras of the drones. And they're very helpful because they let you plan out pretty much everything. That there's a nest. And I would argue the biggest thing you need to know in this game is take out the nests. Because if those get out of control, your whole game gets out of control. Nests produce more enemies and they don't make enemies unless the nests are pissed off. So what you want to do is not alert everything. So do you want to, I mean, we don't even really have to go to the right side, do we? If everything's over there, we could totally ignore nope. it. But the more points we get, the more your op heals. Yeah, I mean, she'll heal either way. Reloading. Now I have two weapons. I have an unsuppressed one and a suppressed one. Every weapon in the game that can have a suppressor is automatically equipped with one at the beginning. So I recommend having an unsuppressed weapon because you don't need two suppressed weapons. And your damage takes a huge nerf when it's suppressed. So I usually just keep my secondary suppressed unless the operator doesn't allow you to do that this stuff here is the sprawl you'll see how i slow down when i'm in it so i shoot it to get rid of it basically now this is iq we have to save them and did you scan over here already i did yeah so there's nothing here in terms of oh that's why i'm cloaked okay Yeah, you can pre-install the game. You can't play it yet. I'm going to do a quick scan around here. Yeah, we can just totally get in and out on this side. There is health over here, I think. Yep. Okay, Roy, do you want to take it? I'm good. Uh, I can I can pull so that way they uh, check and see what you have to do when you have to rescue an op. Okay. So when you pull the rescue an op, one person goes ahead and just tries to yank them out, and the other two people on the team have to shoot these things because they spawn, I don't know, things that make it so they try to get reabsorbed. So we'll show you what it looks like. Aim at the anchor point. Shoot when they open. It's basically a little tug-of-war match. If you take a look at the top of the screen, we're playing tug-of-war right now, and we're starting to win the tug-of-war match. We can Pull our yeah, that was actually really clean. So now we have the op out of there. Get our operator to the extraction point. <laughs> and we have to try... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something got mad. Now we just have to bring them over to the area where we can extract them. And we're, one of the neat things you can do with Vigil is once he's high enough level, he makes everybody on the team a little bit faster when he cloaks. So you can grab the casualty and then cloak, and then you just speed on into where you go and extract them, which is awesome. So he's got the first mission done now, so we need to get to the next transition zone. And now we might want to rescan around here just so we can get over there. Well, I'm already on it. What happens if you don't shoot the black ooze? It, it just stays slow. Oh my god, I accidentally threw a grenade. Oopsies. 
Now, nothing's been alerted yet because we've been playing this really clean. Like, things see us, but they're not screaming. And the scream is what causes the nest to go crazy. I actually need to find some... Some ammo here. If we get a chance. Oh! So he tried Close. screaming there. Yeah, one of the things you can do against those sowers is if you lay down when they want to scream, you can get a really easy shot on their weak point, which is, I don't know, their crotch or something. <laughs> you can always, uh, you could UV light on the wood uh, walls and you can actually see enemies through the wall if they're able yes. to be shot. Same thing with nests. Yeah, let me see if there's any nearby. Look, you could look at this one. So one over here by you. So yeah, you can see the nest kind of highlight a little bit because of this UV ray. Oh, there's also an enemy right here, too. To so it point. makes it really easy just to pop him. I was assuming that he's out on a different kind of a wall. Oh, God, Spiker. So Spikers like to shoot at you. Uh, I think I have a spore on me. I can't tell. No. Now, enemies will not right. scream from noise. They will only scream and alert nests if they Reload. see you. Hit me, hit me. <gasps> These here are the mines. If you run into them, you'll get flashed. The sowers make these. So be careful. They don't have them. Oh, the blinding spores? Yeah, let me eat a blinding spore here. So what happens if you get a blinding spore? Oh god, I got a bunch of them actually. Is you get this gluck on your screen, and this gluck is eventually gonna blind me if we don't hit it off of me. So I'm gonna what if let we just let it, can we just let him can we just let it hit you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll yeah, do one damage help. per spore. So, oh yeah, that's actually a good point about the health. So I have temp health on right now. If I go underneath my temp health and I start to take actual damage out of my 100, that's permanent health loss. You don't get that back. <laughs> so Ren, I have, oh, you could hit me. I got a spore on me. So you want to make sure that you always keep your health up in the temp health area. Otherwise your operator is going to take permanent damage. But now Rourke has a spore on them. And one way to get rid of them is just to pop them off like that. Or you can shoot them off. Another way is to use a stun grenade on yourself. <laughs> The aliens? Yeah, I'd say the arcanes are definitely aliens. Oh, ammo, I need that. I think this health here too for someone. Go ahead, Roar. Oh, lots of spores in here. And I think there's a nest. Yeah, let me get the spores. So there's a few ways to take out a nest. One is shooting them, the other way is to stab them. Do you want to stab it, Ren? How do you know? Kind of cool. <laughs> Reload. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. You, you didn't drop your armor. Yeah. yeah I just oh, I never that. dropped my ability armor. Oops. Here you go, guys. Time for some serious protection. And then you could grab the ability. Found you a recharge. And what the armor does is it gives you an extra state of being downed. And it gives you a ton of damage resistance. Yeah. Now we can check in the bottom left hand corner of how many ammo and or health and or abilities we have left on this chunk of the map. If you want to try to pick up as many resources as you can. Because once you leave an area, there's no going back. Is the game out? It is not out yet. It comes out on the 20th. Airlock sequence. Airlock sequence. Subzone transition in What's the next one? Elite target? Ah, oh, it's my time to shine. Elite target? Let me see. Oh yeah, this will be easy. So this is defeat one. We don't have to take him down. The drop should be on. Does it show a little thing that you want when you're watching? They should be on. I did the connection. Maybe I gotta do it in my settings on game too. But they should automatically be working. So he's scanning right now, and then part of what we would do is just get started on stuff like this. That's the one. A low life archie. I got it. A low life archie. Standing next to Virgil when he has a level 10, cloak, cloaks the whole team, as long as we're near him. Which is nice. Oh, so that one screamed, but he killed it. We gotta kill some huh? Yeah, we gotta find the nest. Here, I'm gonna scan again. Um, do you wanna- somebody's got a spore. It's me. <laughs> Actually, there might not be any nests around here. I'm not sure if they scream if there isn't a nest for them to alert, though. So there might be one nearby. There was a killed it. You just killed it right away? Screen. Okay. Yeah. That's right here. Yeah, I'm not sure if they'll scream if there's nothing for them to scream at. I'm 
Now, what we'll show you a little bit after this is the Maelstrom Protocol, and that is the super hard endgame mode. That... <laughs> it... You definitely have a lot to figuring out with that because you have to manage your resources in a way where you can go through nine levels rather than just three or nine missions i should say and not only that the amount of resources the game gives you dwindles as oh my god well he's gonna scream okay this might actually be a problem over here hi buddy easy that was sick There's a nest out here that's alerted. You see how it's pulsing? So if I were to watch this thing long enough, what'll happen is it'll spawn an enemy. You'll see it. Here, let me just watch it. And they both will. So these nests don't do anything unless they're alerted. And they're not alerted until there's a scream like you saw from the Smasher. But if you let them go long enough, they'll spit out an enemy. So come on. You can do it, buddy. Lay the egg. Is he going to do it? Maybe he's scared. Maybe he's a little... Right. He's getting performance anxiety. <laughs> well, they do spawn enemies. This one seems a little shy, though. Damn it! What do we have next? Oh, am I a rescue person? Not am I a... Uh, no, wait, that was hostage. first one. It's a uh, hostage. Now, these little icons right here are the next transition zone, so we have to make our way on over there. He was nervous, yeah. He was getting a little shy. We, we still need a smasher. Yes. And then the elite. Here's the smasher. Go for it. I want to see it. Damn it! Can you stealth take down or whatever paralysis a... Yeah. A smashing elite? Mm-hmm. You totally can. Wow, well, I didn't stand a chance. Okay. Oh! Ooh. Okay, scary. Tormentors are very scary. Going loud. It's an apex. Can't stealth kill it. Oh, also an apex. Okay, well, let's get the tormentor out of here. Apex is you can't stealth kill. I'm working on as many nests as I can find right now. I'm actually gonna recall a drone real quick and I'm gonna throw it just to get eyes. Okay, pack down. Nice. Nest just spawned an enemy. Nest is down. Yeah. Tormentor on me, scary. Dodging! Woo! here we've been practicing by the way chat i don't expect <laughs> i don't know it didn't go this way the first time we tried <laughs> have a good one connor that dodge was clean yeah how did we learn that was that you ran or was that rourke that, that was rourke. Lay him down? Yeah. yeah i was watching i was rourke just lays down in front of a tormentor i'm like did that actually work <laughs> sure enough it did react personnel encountered lab oh somebody mentioned the sound of a gun i'm running a silence shotgun so yeah it sounds really interesting so we'll be oh. okay we have tormentor right here as well nice Checking to make sure nothing's screaming. Nice. Got a screamer! Tormentor, okay. Ooh, blinding spores, okay. Stealthing. Take him, nice. Alright, we gotta find the nest. I'm gonna throw a drone. We got bad boys over here. That's right there. Nice. Reloading. 
You just like to go through walls, don't you? I do, Hulk smash. Hulk smash. We got a sower over here, a spiker, a nest, a bunch of crap. Oh, let's just watch this happen. Right next to you, Ren. Core metro. It, it did yell. Y'all are animals right now. Would this game be entertaining solo? I don't, they don't want me to show you anything solo today, but I do like playing it solo. I can tell you that much. So I can show you solo stuff tomorrow. I think it's just because there's cutscenes associated with it. They don't want the cutscenes to be um, spoiled. But it does play <laughs> differently solo. And I, I do quite enjoy it. Vigil's OP, Vigil's amazing. Thanks for showcasing this. Dude, it's so fun. It gets really hard. We're not playing the hardest game mode. We're playing severe. So there's four difficulties. There's moderate, cautious, severe, and critical. We're playing on severe because it's kind of where we're comfortable with right now. Critical, critical is tough. This is really hard. Our personnel. Ammunition is here. Activating. Anybody want this ammo? I would like that, please. I'm good. Now you'll take a look at Rourke's health and you'll see, especially up against the white background, that there's a black chunk of health there. That is health that is gone. He does not get it back, no matter what, until his operator has time to heal outside of a mission. And if it goes too low, he won't be able to use the operator in the next mission. So I don't, I don't know really what the threshold is. You might still be able to use LNX mission. I think it's 25 or lower. Is it? I'm just killing everything. I'm here to murder. Oh, recover the asset. Oh, I thought there was the other mission. Oh, I'm the worst. Go and load. Get him out of here. Wow, that armor really paid off. He totally would have been dead. That tormentor beat him. He ate that tormentor. <laughs> I thought we were on the last mission or the previous mission. Oopsies. Here I got in front of you here. Also, also I think the visual can just walk up and grab him because it cloaks him immediately. It clo wait, what clock cloaked immediately? Uh, the, the asset. Really? Even though, like, did you use Even your ability to make it happen? Yeah. Tormentor, Tormentor, you gonna move me? Nice. Oh, crap, taking damage. Tormentor up, behind us. Got him. I need a punch. I'm gonna be blinded. Let's just get extraction going here. Thank you. Was this? Oh, that was the last. That was it. Okay. So used to am I being the last? Right out. That was so clean. You'll react pride and joy. Just don't let it go. To your so head. now what you'll see is I get my operator back. IQ that I apparently had lost. The only thing stronger than armor. What do I get a level 9? Oh, well, there you go. I get another assault rifle. The V308. Oh, and I get my account experience back. Nice. I also got a react token. So one of the things you get in this game as you level up is the ability to unlock more gear. So that's what I'm going to do. And IQ is back in action. Also, IQ is probably going to heal because we had a really good mission there. So they come back with a certain amount of HP. And then they also can heal if you, depending on how much EXP you earn on the mission. So I'm actually at 100 health again for IQ. If you want to talk to me and learn more about the game, we stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Link will be in the description and also the top comment. Also, I plan on uploading a bunch of videos about this game to teach you more about it to help you get more out of your characters, including going through an entire maelstrom run where we <laughs> reach the end and it's, it's very chaotic. So if you're interested in seeing that, please consider subscribing. And with that, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.